Hello, Victor. Thanks for submitting your first draft. Um, I'm going to have some comments on it, okay? So first of all, on your first page title page, there are some minor issues I would like you to, to uh, okay, remove them. Now, your title should be very specific. Don't write literature review. It has to be a specific topic for your um, a literature okay, reviews title page. And do not and make sure that, that some words are not all in capital, like English 105. So it's not 105, it's 102. And then uh, make sure that it is it is okay normal like the other font types. The other parts are okay. Let's go and have a look at page number two. Page number two again. Uh, you need to remove introduction and assignment number six, whatever. Page two always begins with the title of your project, okay? Now here, let's go and have a look at your introduction. Um, the first part perhaps is going to be a hook, so I'm fine with this. But the problem that is happening is that is perhaps with the introduction part of your, uh, sorry, with the background part of your introduction. So you're giving me some context, providing some background information, talking about the history or um, a little bit of context related to your topic. That's fine, but the problem is that I don't see any in-text citations. So I ask you this question, where did you get this information? I want you to cite at least one or two times and show me that what whatever you're writing here is based on evidence. Now, there's another issue that I want you to remove. There are some words like contractions or informal language. I want you to remove them from your work. At the end, this article was written, etc., etc. It's not a bad idea that you're using a passive structure. But if I were you, I wouldn't use I, I, I pronouns. So the first pronouns. So what I want to say, just write two lines or three lines. This literature review refers to, for example, some common problems such as A and B and provides a practical solution such as A. Okay, so it's very clear we are not using any personal pronoun. For the other parts of your project, you don't need to write a title. Just begin your body paragraph normally. Make sure that each body paragraph has a topic sentence at the beginning. Now, this is not a topic sentence, right? Because uh, you're just talking, talking, giving some general information. So what, what we have to do is that mention your topic sentence or the purpose of the paragraph clearly. Okay. For instance, the one of the most common challenges uh, some people have with emotional intelligence is ABC quickly or A. And then after your topic sentence, you need to go and explain it. How to do it better, please go to your Moodle. I gave you one file called Academic Essay. Uh, there's a PPT, try to see, and uh, I also gave you a sample. So have a look, try to follow these sections. And at the end, there's another issue in the evidence part of your body paragraph. I don't see any sign of citation. You have to put it there. At the end, again, I don't want you to say I, 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 personally speaking, okay, this is not a personal, uh, or this is not a reflective project. This is a literature review. So you have to be objective as possible. So what I want you to do, make sure that we don't use I, and just at the end, you need to have a sense of ending by using closing sentence in your body paragraphs. I want you to do the same thing for all your body paragraphs here, and don't write any title for each body. And your conclusion isn't ready, so also because uh, I can't give any comments on that, but what happens basically in your conclusion? Number one, summarize your thesis. Number two, summarize your body paragraphs. And finally, summarize, uh, finally can talk about a suggestion or if you have a suggestion, if you have a recommendation. And it's always a good idea to have a citation in the last part of your conclusion. Uh, one more thing about your references, it's okay, but there's an issue with the formatting part. It is not formatted correctly. So just go and have a look at my video, how to okay, format our references pages. Otherwise, the content is okay. The biggest problem is that I don't see any in-text citations. If you don't add it, your mark should be 40 or 50, okay? Because 
So what is the difference between your essay and IELTS task two? So there has to be a difference, right? Perfect. So good luck with your submission. The deadline has been extended uh, to tonight. Go and submit and check the amount of your pledgers. Good luck and take care.